So this is to show you how to sketch out a finger joint in 3D. Again, if you've got a board and T-square, use the board and T-square. If not, you can just use a 30 degree set square. We're going to start in the top corner, top right hand corner, not as high up this time. So I just pick a point, anywhere here I would say. I'm going to come vertical. I'm going to come back at 30 degrees. I'm going to come at 30 degrees in the other direction. And this is going to be the long side. So I've basically got my 30 degrees set up. Now I'm going to measure this one because I want five equal sections. So I'm going to put in, just for example, five equal sections of 15. You could go bigger or smaller, it doesn't matter. And another 15. Okay, so basically what I've done is just put a dot on 15. So each gap are equal, 15. You can make it whatever you want. I'll make the piece, for example, most timber that we'd be doing the sum would be 16 or 18 mil thick, so I'll go around 18 millimeters. And again, it doesn't matter what size. To draw that out, and I'll do this with freehand, so I've got my vertical line, and I'll take this as close to vertical as possible. I've got my line coming back at 30 degrees, and I'll come as close as possible to that. Once again, I've got my line coming in this 30 degree direction, and I'll get as close as possible to that. And my last line is my vertical line. So again, as close as possible as I can, I'll take my vertical line down. So that is the basic shape of the vertical piece done. I want to draw in a horizontal piece, and like we did with the motion tenon, I'm going to take those angles back parallel. So I'm going to come back here at my 30 degree angle, bring it off down. Same from the other side and as close to parallel as I can. I want to put a gap between the two pieces of timber. So I'm going to come back here, roughly there, anywhere at all. And I'm going to draw on the piece of timber. To get the depth of it, this one is 18, so this piece needs to be 18. I just measure down here, 10 and 8 is 18. And again, I'll sketch in parallel. So here's my line, sketch that out parallel. I've got my vertical line to put in. So I'll come back and draw on the vertical line. And that's really okay. So if you can make it out, I've got my horizontal piece of timber here, my vertical piece of timber here. I want to start setting out where, again, this piece of timber would hit when it came over here. So it's my shoulder line. And again, that's why we have this line coming across here. That automatically gives me my shoulder line. I've got it here. I can just take down at 30 degrees. So there. So I've got the main shape of the horizontal and vertical pieces. Now I'm going to start marking this out as if I was marking out the joint in real life. So I have my shoulder line put on down here 18 millimeters. I sketch that in. And again, I'll return that around the side. So that is my 18 millimeter shoulders. I'm going to do the same on this piece. I'd have an 18 millimeter shoulder. So again, this is exactly what I do in real life. 10 and 8 is 18. And I'll put it on again parallel to this edge. Come back with it and vertical. So I've got my two shoulder lines put on. We divided up, we had 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. So I've got five equal sections here, and I'm going to use them to set out the shape of the fingers. So when I come along, I'm going to work back from here. I've got my first line, and I'm going to lightly draw a line across the two pieces. So there it is. Next one. And do the next one and try and keep all of these as parallel as you can. And the last one. So now what I've got is my five fingers here. One, two, three, four, five fingers there. 
the job here is we're going to take out three holes out of one, two holes out of the other. And it doesn't really matter which we do. So I'll take it on this one. We're going to take two holes out of this one. What that means is I've got three left, more importantly. And I'm going to draw those on the end grain. So I'm just highlighting or darkening in the bits that I've left. And you can even do those freehand if you want. Because we're going to be going over all this in freehand anyway. So those are my three fingers left. I'm going to take out the opposite on the other one. So I need the two fingers left on the other one. And to do that, I'm going to draw a line, a line, and a line. And to get the shape of that, it comes up. There's one finger, and the next finger. So, you can see these two fingers will slot into these two gaps. Now it's a matter of actually making the whole thing 3D. And there's a little bit of work to that. I'm going to take my vertical line. So each of these lines again, I'm coming back and making them vertical. So I've got my vertical corner there. I'm going to come vertical, vertical, and vertical. And now I can sketch in the shape of those two sockets. So again, it's going to look like a freehand sketch, but it isn't. Back corner, here and here, they come down vertical as well. Here's my vertical line. And vertical. And now I've got that pretty well done in 3D. I'll darken in all this so you can get, this, uh, get the idea of it. I need to finish out the horizontal section. So to do that, this piece here just comes vertical. So I can sketch that in vertical, that's fine. I have a little bit of work to do here because it's going to be visible. So again, here's my edge at the minute. There's my shoulder. I want to come parallel to that. So it's coming down. The thickness of the timber is 18 millimeters. I'll come down 18 millimeters. I just put a dot on 18 millimeters. That's that one darkened in. And again, then I come back at my angle. That gives me the shape of the horizontal rail as well. So when I come to sketch it all in, that is the outline of the sketch done. There's just two little, little bits of lines come back in here. I've got this one. And this one. And again, those are coming back parallel to the edges. I'll put in the end grain and the uh, grain lines on it now. So that's just a bit of colour put into it then to try and make it as realistic as possible.